Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Southside Barbecue Home Cook. Today we're going to be doing something extra special. Today we're going to be combining two of our absolute favorite things on God's green earth. That's right, sports fans. Today we're going to be smoking some succulent brisket. But not only that, as you can see here, we're going to be draping that beautiful, thick hunk of meat with some of our Southside Barbecue Coco Samoa rub. Now I know what you're thinking, Samoan cocoa or coco Samoa is usually for sweet desserts or a hot drink with buttered bread, but trust me, that strong earthy flavor of the unsweetened chocolatey coco really enhances the other flavors. Let me tell you, there's a reason the Oompa Loompas stuck around Willy Wonka and it wasn't for the everlasting gobstoppers. Ask Grandpa Joe. Alright, it's time to start on this rub now. If you ask any Coco or Samoa connoisseur what one of the best traits of this sensual product is, 90% of them will say it's the chunky, cocoa texture or bingle. But we don't need that for this rub as we want a fine cocoa dust. So we got us a box grater and we're gonna use the side that's never been used in the history of mankind before. There's nothing wrong with working up a sweat. We want to go balls to the wall like a glory hole because we want us to get a nice powder that will just melt into our brisket, giving Big Bama a nice dark brown bark. Well, look at that, pure 100% organic cocoa beans. Alright, we got us about half a cup of ground cocoa here, and today we're going to add about the same amount of brown sugar just to balance out that strong robustness. Now what we got here is about a tablespoon of garlic powder tablespoon of onion powder, we also got about two tablespoons of salt, some black pepper, some oh, just a whole bunch of other stuff there. Hershey's are too scared to add into their kisses. Ooh like that. You just try and mix it up as best as you can. Oftentimes that brown sugar wants to stick together like the pages on daddy's old magazines. So just get you a spoon to break it all up. If you're a Brisbane Bronco supporter, you can use a wooden spoon, that'll do the trick just as good. Wow, look at that. Stuff looks like it should be illegal to bring through customs. Someone let Al Chapo know he's got some competition. Jeez Louise. Alright now, just for convenience, we're gonna pour this stunning concoction into the shaker we got here. Now you can bypass this step if you don't have one of these shakers lying around. I just find with one of these you're able to achieve a nice even distribution of rub. Speaking of distribution, we'll be distributing our custom Coco Beware rub online very soon. So make sure you keep an eye out for that and snap you up a jar or seven for that ultimate barbecue bark. Alright, what we got here is a nice 5 kilo Bass Street brisket, sensual Australian beef from the Tasmanian region. Sure gonna go down a tree, especially once we dress her up in this Coco Samoa dress. She's gonna be downright fierce like a Hadouken. Alright, first we're gonna start by putting her on a diet because we want to get rid of some of her fat. Now we're gonna remove this big chunk of hard deckle fat as it weren't rendered down during the cook and it's pretty much inedible. Alright, and we're gonna take off as much silver skin from the bottom as we can. Alright. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Once again, we're gonna remove some of this fat from the top, as well as all the loose strips of meat that'll end up burning up in the cook. Guys, here's a tip. Make sure to freeze your brisket for a couple of minutes, just to get that fat solidified so it's easier to trim. Fortunately, today is hotter than a crowded bus on the south side, so it is a bit tricky to work with. It's all right though, we ain't no stranger to danger. Alright, next we're gonna break out the baby oil and give Big Mama that rub down. Ooh! Alright, time to slip Mama into this nice dress. Now I like to start applying the rub from the bottom first, just so we can have our rub melt into the top fat cap. Now don't be stingy with that rub, you wanna get a good application on. Now that cocoa is really gonna give an interesting twist to this brisket, and that brown sugar is gonna give us some nice caramel coloring to our bark. Oh man, I can't wait. Alright, once again we just apply some oil to Big Mama. Also make sure to occasionally shake the rub as that heavy salt tends to sink to the bottom. So give it a shake to mix the rub up for a nice even coat. And we're just gonna let it sit for a couple of minutes to let our rub set into Big Mama. Wow, 
looking good enough to put in a tall glass and drink through a straw. Eating lizards. I like that. I like that a lot. Now I don't know where you are in the world. But let me tell you, it's a beautiful day on the south side. Golly. Now the Weber Kettle is our weapon of choice today and we're going to be using the snake method. If you don't know how to run a snake, make sure you check our snake method video. We'll leave a link in the description. And as you can see, we're just using wood chips today of the hickory variety. And that's going to give us a beautiful smoke flavor profile. I'm just going to put Big Mama in her tanning bed so she can work on her tan for a bit. Now, we're making sure the fatty end is closer to the coals to take on that heat. All right, let's close the curtains and give the old lady some privacy. We'll check on her in a bit. All right, this is about three hours in there. We better check to see how our leading lady's doing. All right, as you can see, her tan is coming along just nice. We got a nice reddish brown color going on, which means that smoke is penetrating Big Mama nice and deep. She doesn't look too thirsty. Uh, she's dried up a bit around the edges though, so let's sprinkle with some water and some apple cider vinegar just to tie her over through her tanning session. All right. We'll check on her a little later. Got the front door. This is about six hours in it. Damn. Big Mama looking like she was a bridesmaid at a wedding in Bali. That Coco more rubs got her looking like a whole snack out here. Oh, I'm ready to swipe right. You can see Jake the Snake is still chugging away like a real champion, but damn. We haven't even spritzed Big Mama since the first go in. She's looking moist and on heat. She's ready to pounce, I tell you. All right, we're sitting at about 155 Fahrenheit. The fat's rendering nicely. I reckon another hour or so and she'll be ready to wrap. Mm -mm. All right, so we got us some butcher's paper here that we're gonna wrap Miss Thang in. If you can't get your filthy mitts on some butcher's paper, then foil will do the trick just fine. Now, what we got here is just some beef tallow that we're gonna coat our butcher's paper in. And that's just, golly, look at that. She's looking like all five of the Willy Wonka's golden tickets right now. But you know what, we still got a ways to go. Now, we're just gonna drizzle more beef tallow over her. Now, beef tallow is just rendered down bovine fat Basically cow lard. All the cool kids are using this in their brisket wraps these days. It adds extra moisture and flavor to your brisket. If you get a chance, give it a try. All right, next thing to do is just tightly wrap Big Mama up and throw her back on the smoker till she probes like butter. And we'll rest her for at least two hours and see how she looks. Golly. Check out that Coco Samo coat. That's downright diabolical. We got more bark than the Mongol mob pad. Wow, we. All right. You know what? I can't. I can't take it anymore. Let's see what she looks like under the hood, shall we? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, clean up an aisle five. We have a spill. I repeat, clean up an aisle five. We have a spill. Sheesh. Oh man, if she was any more moist, she'd get arrested for drowning this chopping board. Mate, let's get us a slice, shall we? Oh, uh -huh, come on, my friend. We didn't go through all this process to eat brisket shavings. I like my slices more manly than the sea eagles. Come on, Turbo. You can see it passes the bend test. Whoa. You can tell that's more tender than a slow jam. How about the taste? Golly. That tastes better than seven everlasting gobstoppers. That tastes like Grandpa Joe walking again. Let me tell you, this Coco more rub brisket tastes like it was made by the Oompa Loompas themselves. Jeez Louise. Guys, if you get a chance, make sure you give this Coco more rub a try. It sure goes down easy. Also, make sure to keep an eye out for our custom Southside Barbecue Coco Beware rub hitting the shelf soon. Make sure to snap you up a jar and try it out for yourselves. It goes on beef, chicken, pork, Hell, even horse. Golly! 